Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post. YouTube never pushes out my videos and I really would appreciate it if more people will watch and subscribe and hopefully, you know, help my channel to grow some. So I went to coach today because rumor has it that there is a new denim tabby that's being released. The quilted tabby. The new quilted tabby that everybody's going crazy for. So, got in my car, drove to coach, and of course, came back with a bag, guys. I couldn't help myself. So, let me just cut to the chase and get to the item. I got the quilted tabby 20 in denim. So, we're going to unwrap this together because... I did get a little peek when I was in the store, and of course they did have one to show me. So I looked at the one that was actually in the boutique, and then they pulled this from the back. They only had two in store. They had this one, and they had the one that they were allowing people to see. Now, these aren't going to be released in this size in the boutiques until March 1st. Look how cute. Oh, so I think that if you go, you have to kind of ask and, you know, get lucky if they're going to show one to you. But guys, look, I didn't even get all the paper off of it. And you know, I'm not a denim girl, not a denim girl, but I had to have it. All right. So the tag on this says crafted to last. This bag is made for, with cotton source from farms that use regenerative agricultural practices and inspired by our commitment to reduce our impact on the planet. Now, no matter where you go with it, you'll always know You'll always be carrying a little extra love for the planet. So that's nice. And they're talking about the bag itself, not the trim, because the trim on this is leather. So let me get busy and start to unstuff it, take all the wrappings out, and talk to you a little bit more about this collection. So it did come with a dust bag. The new collection is going to include the Tabby 20 and the Tabby 26 in denim and they're going to have a black denim and they're going to be having a light colored denim like the one that I've got. And I don't think that they're going to be making them in the 33 size. So it's just going to be a choice of two sizes. And I know that my coach is doing an unofficial wait list. Here I got part of it unpacked. So if you're interested in these guys, I would encourage you to call your local coach boutique and ask them if they will put you on a wait list or get in contact with you when they become available because I think that these are going to sell out really really quickly now you know I hated no I don't want to say I hated the LV denim collection is pretty but at the price point that it is I don't think that it was worth it I mean just being completely honest and I mean I've made ridiculous purchases before, but that was not for me. But my friend Kanisha loved it. She got many, many pieces from it. And, you know, if you love something, you're going to buy it. And practicality isn't going to play into the picture. So this bag retails for the same price as the leather Tabby 20. So this was $3.95. And the denim is going to, or the 26 size in denim is going to be at the same price as the leather tabbies. So there's no difference, which I kind of find interesting because denim is a much cheaper material, but I don't know. I have no influence on what they're charging or not charging. So, all right, I'm getting this undone from the straps and then we're gonna take a look at this together. And I have some items that we're gonna try inside because I did try this on in the store and I decided that this was probably not going to be something that I use every day anyway. So I went with the smaller size that's just going to be like a little running around and going out to dinner or, you know, running to go shopping kind of bag, like a fun little bag. And I kind of felt like I needed something that was really fun. And this is going to fit the bill. So let's get this completely unstuffed. You know, coat wraps everything up really, really well. So it's going to take a minute. And I really want to be able to show you the straps so that you can get an idea of what the strap drop is on this bag. 
So yay, I got everything off except for the hang tag. So now the hang tag is free. Everything is free and here she is. Look at how adorable. Oh my goodness. So it comes with a double flap, very similar to the Chanel Classic flap. So in here you do have a front pocket. It's not very generous, but it is there. We're gonna play around with it. And then there's two sections inside. There are no card holders. So you're gonna to have to take a wallet or a card holder with you, you know, in order to spend anything. I, I mean, that's gonna be a must because there's nothing here that's gonna allow you to go without taking a wallet. But don't worry, I got you covered. I have some good examples of what you can use. So I'm just cutting the tags off so that we can really take a good look without the tags and do a little bit of a what fits. So there, that's completely off. So it has a double chain handle. You have your double flap. Here's the story patch in the back. And on the back, there is a slip pocket and it does fit my phone. So I have my phone case here. I took my phone out of the phone case and I'm gonna show you that it does fit in. It sticks out a little bit, but if you really wanna use it, you can use it. So inside, you can also put your phone in one of the compartments. And I would really recommend using one of these compartments instead of using this front flap because this front flap is really small. So here's what it looks like with a phone case inside. And let's see. I have my keys. So we're gonna put my keys in. I'm gonna put my keys in the front pocket there. I have a card holder that I've been using for work that has my train card and work ID. So this is just a general idea of how big a card holder would be. So I can put that in the back with my phone. And then you can also, if you're using the little skinny mini, you can fold up some cash and put the cash inside. Here is a mirror. So I'm gonna put a mirror in this little front pocket. This is a very thin flat Dior mirror and the flap doesn't close. So that's not gonna work, but it probably will be fine if you put it in the back pocket and it does stick up. So that's not really gonna work either. So forget a mirror. That's about the smallest and flattest mirror that I own. So that's not gonna work. Let's see, what can we put? Well, I had a lipstick here. I don't know that I have my lipstick handy. So let's just take a second. No, I don't have it handy, but I do have my wallet. So let me show you what it looks like using the wallet instead of the key holder or the card holder, forgive me. So here I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna to try to use my Chanel card holder. And I think to do this, I am gonna to have to take the keys out. My card holder will fit inside. And then even though I don't have one with me, you could see that there's room for a lipstick right alongside here, see? Right here, you could put a lipstick or maybe even two. And well, key pouch does fit in the back. <clears throat> and yeah, it kind of goes in the front flap, but it sticks out. So really the only thing that you're gonna be able to use in here would maybe be a very flat card holder. And I don't think that this 
skinny is really going to work. Well, it kind of, kind of, sort of does. And if you have it there, this is a snap closure, by the way. If you have it there, it's really not going to close. So I'm going to put that again in the back pocket and see if you're able to do the bigger card case, the smaller card case, and the phone. And yes, that all does fit inside with my keys. So you could pack more than what you'd think inside. <laughs> Even though it's a really small bag, but it really kind of works more like a wallet on chain. It's not really going to be something you're going to use for a daily bag and be able to put all of your belongings in it and just go on your way. I would more than likely never carry a big wallet with this. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm wrong, guys. I didn't have my key holder in it. So I think that this is probably the best way. Leave room for your keys. You have plenty of room for lipstick. Let's try some tissues. So it does look like, yes, you could put tissues in that front pocket and the keys and the skinny mini card holder and it will close. So that's that. So let me do a couple mod shots so you can see what the drop is. And remember the 20 is shorter. It's definitely a shorter bag than the 26 as far as the chain drop. So here is the chain drop on me. Let me move my chair back a little bit. So you can get an idea. Here is where it comes if it's a shoulder bag. And I have a big sweatshirt on. So it's going to be a little bit sitting weird, but not terrible with my big sweatshirt. And here it comes right between the boobs. And it hits slightly above where my waist is. So that's where it comes. It's not terrible. So you can wear it crossbody if you really, really want to, but I am more than likely going to carry this as a shoulder bag because I think that it's really comfortable as a shoulder bag and it's a good drop. The 26 drops down quite a bit lower and the crossbody length, even with a coat on, is substantially lower than this. But my opinion, denim is more of like a summer, spring and summer material. So I probably will wear this more in spring and summer than in the winter, especially that it's fabric. And I know that this is something I don't want to wear when it rains, when it snows, because it's going to get ruined and the dye will probably run. So there you have it. This is an antique brass hardware, antique brass here on these little, what do you call it? Doodads grommets. I guess grommets is what they're called. You have a leather covered C and this is really kind of a shiny C background. They use a little bit more of a shiny metal and I like the natural hang tag, although I'm really not a fan of these hang tags. I mean, if they drop off and get lost, doesn't matter in the least bit to me. I mean, not a big loss. So I'm just going to leave it here for now and Maybe just kind of hang a little charm or something cute on the side of it because this is a playful and cutesy bag. And yeah, for me, maybe even a little bit edgy. So that's all she wrote for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really would appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and come back and see me another time. And for all my returning viewers, you know, I love you. And I thank you so much for coming back again. See you all soon. Bye.